Ну, не знаю. Ну, где Почему же? Ой. Hello, hello. Gamers. Hello, Omi. Hello, Cupid. Hello, everybody. To a rare uh, non dev fanboy fry dev. Uh oh. Is the game audio not coming out? Sure isn't. Sir. Sir. Hello. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good afternoon. Etc. And such. I have Potionomics hooked up to the Wavelink game thing, so... Good afternoon. That's so wild. What the fuck? Putting you back on the default, and we're just gonna we're just gonna run with it. And it's still not being. Hold on. Good noon. This is exactly midday. Oh shit! You're right. It must be noon somewhere in this wide world. Okay, let me just restart the game and see. Cause it's not getting picked up. Audio-wise, anywhere. Hello, Hazuki. Good morning. There you go. Now it's being picked up, I think. The potions game. Hey, Trolley, what's up? Welcome, welcome. 
I... I was very graciously gifted this game by Otter, and uh, I saw in it an excellent excuse to not do dev today, because I, I put out the test build for the thingy controller yesterday, and I was very... I am burnt out as fuck, so I'm gonna take advantage of this moment to not do dev. Bon dia, what are the bon dia, big ham? Bon dia. I'm chilling, got the day off. How's you? I'm doing good. I'm vibing. I'm like, I have decided t today to take it easy. And take it easy, I shall. And I'm gonna smooch cute boys, and I'm gonna uh, make some good potions. Still a bit under the weather, still have a bit of the sniffles, so please forgive me. Also, do tell me if, uh, if the audio is okay. Since we had all these troubles in the beginning and all. Oh, I might have to do a lot of uh, narrating. My dearest Sylvia, greetings from Rafter. It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potions shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. Audio seems good so far. Cool, cool, cool. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island, since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle. Her unsanctioned experiments made this land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Hello, Otter. Hello, hello. Why must the sniffles curse me so? My dearest niece, thank you for sending me your po- Ow. Ow. Thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have been spoiled in transit, unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. So mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion's shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck, although, what could go wrong? The death flags are, are rising. Olá, viajado. Boa tarde. Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Sylvia, look at that moustache. Good God. Estou achatado. Estou um bocadinho achatado, de facto. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I am dead. Which isn't great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop. My dream. Come to Rafta, accept your inheritance, and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. The dearly departed, Oswald. At, at least... It's not Reseteer where your father dies and immediately the debt collection fairy shows up and is like, pay your loan or you're gonna live in a cardboard box. Please accept our firm's condolences for the loss of your relation, Oswald. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I'm too, too, too flattened to receive as I have to like reach for them. <laughs> Thank you for the pets. <laughs> I gotta work for the pets. Gotta, I gotta stand on my tippy toes. Oh wait, oh me, I, I owe you, I owe you some potatoes. Hold on, I forgot to plug in the <laughs> the leaf mush. Gotta work for him. Potatoes, yes. It's it's because I'm. I have never, for the life of me, been able to set up my leap motion correctly, so I can't do the heart. 
uh, but what I can do is... I can have it not work. Apparently that's something I can do. <laughs> Why? Come on. Eh, for like... Okay, pause. I am pausing. I am paused. Oh, I think I accidentally hit the leap motion button. Oh, cable management! I am the greatest at it. Rig my balls pose or make a custom heart pose. That would be a lot of work. <laughs> this is how arms work, right? I potato. Yeah. Wink. Don't worry about it. Just like me. It would be a lot of work, I think, but it could be done. Although I'm I'm not looking to to go back to the to the poser for a little while still. At least until I um Finish the controller. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of this of his property on the island of Rafta. Why is it that, that I always go ham on the voice acting when it's like low and masculine? I, sh I should be like taking the opportunity to speak in a different way. We'll try with different characters, I said, I guess. <laughs> However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such inheritance must be claimed in person, or else it will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers you some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. Oh no, it's gonna be just like Reseteer, in it. Pay your debt, or go get fucked. Oh. <lacht> sagen war nicht erreichbar und deswegen hat Amazon haben die Amazon Fahrer diese Vorschrift sie dürfen das Paket nicht mit zurücknehmen sonst gibt es einen auf dem Deckel auf ich dem, äh, mit einem Mietwagen und einem Fahrer die Pakete aus dem Lager abnehmen oh das muss ich auch machen das Case hier vom Hello, hello. Gamers. 
Hello, Omi. Hello, Cupid. Hello, everybody. To a rare uh, non dev Femboy Friday. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Is the game audio not coming out? Sure isn't. Sir. Sir. Hello. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good afternoon. Etc. and such. Hmm. I have Potionomics hooked up to the Wavelink game thing, so... Good afternoon. That's so wild. What the fuck? Putting you back on the default, and we're just gonna we're just gonna run with it. And it's still not being picked up. Hold on. Good noon. This is exactly midday. Oh shit! You're right. It must be noon somewhere in this wide world. Okay, let me just restart the game and see. Because it's not getting picked up, audio-wise, anywhere. Hello, Hazuki. Good morning. There you go. Now it's being picked up, I think. The potions game. Hey, Trolley, what's up? Welcome, welcome. I I was very graciously gifted this game by Otter, and uh, I saw in it an excellent excuse to not do dev today, because I, I put out the test build for the Fingy controller yesterday, and I was very... I am burnt out as fuck, so I'm gonna take advantage of this moment to not do dev. Bon dia, what are the bon dia, big ham? Bon dia. I'm chilling, got the day off. How's you? I'm doing good. I'm vibing. I'm like, I have decided today to take it easy. And take it easy, I shall. And I'm gonna smooch cute boys, and I'm gonna uh, make some good potions. Ah. <sighs> Still a bit under the weather, still have a bit of the sniffles, so please forgive me. Also, do tell me if, uh, if the audio is okay. Since we had all these troubles in the beginning and all. Ooh, I might have to do a lot of uh, narrating. My dearest Sylvia, greetings from Rafter. It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potions shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. Audio seems good so far. Cool, cool, cool. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle. Her unsanctioned experiments made this land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Hello, Otter. Hello, hello. Why must the sniffles curse me so? My dearest niece, thank you for sending me your pot. Ow. Ow. Thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have been spoiled in transit, unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. 
Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. To mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potions shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could go wrong? The death flags are, are rising. Olaf Yajal. What are they? Sincerely, Uncle Osmond. Sylvia, look at that moustache. Good God. Estou achatado. Estou um bocadinho achatado, de facto. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I am dead. Which isn't great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop. My dream. Come to Rafter, accept your inheritance, and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it! The dearly departed, Oswald. At, at least it's not Reseteer where your father dies and immediately the debt collection fairy shows up and is like, pay your loan or you're gonna live in a cardboard box. Please accept our firm's condolences for the loss of your relation, Oswald. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I'm too, too, too flattened to receive as I have to, like, reach for them. <laughs> Thank you for the pets. <laughs> I've got to work for the pets. Gotta, i got to stand on my tippy toes. Oh wait, oh me, I, I owe you I owe you some potatoes. Hold on. I forgot to plug in the <laughs> the lead marsh. Gotta work for him. Potatoes, yes. It's it's cause I'm I have never for the life of me been able to set up my leap motion correctly. So I can't do the heart. Uh but what I can do is I can have it not work. Apparently that's something I can do. <laughs> Why? Come on. Eh, for like... Okay, pause. I am pausing. I am paused. Oh, I think I accidentally hit the leap motion button. Oh, cable management! I am the greatest at it. Rig my balls pose or make a custom heart pose. That would be a lot of work. <laughs> this is how arms work, right? I. Potato. Yeah? Wink. Don't worry about it. Just like me. It would be a lot of work, I think, but it could be done. Although I'm I'm not looking to to go back to the to the poser for a little while still. At least until I um Finish the controller. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of this of his property on the island of Rafta. Why is it that, that I always go ham on the voice acting when it's like low and masculine? I, sh I should be like taking the opportunity to speak in a different way. We'll try with different characters, I said, I guess. <laughs> However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such inheritance must be claimed in person, or else it will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers you some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. Oh no, it's gonna be just like Reseteer, in it. Pay your debt or go get fucked. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh, the poor, the poor. God, I love the animations in this game. Do I not have game audio? Or is that just no track here currently? This could still work. I can make it work. I love the animations in this game. I don't know what kind of wizard they got for this, but it is excellent. Game audio is on. I just need to air it out a bit and chase off that bird I saw in the rafters. Good thing I've got a broom. Good shit to the animators, right? Holy shit, this fit. <laughs> Excellent fit. Forgive me the intrusion. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the stupid uh, voice training thing where I try to shift my pitch up before I I go on ahead. Oh. Let's see. Uh, uh. I'll succeed, but forgive me the intrusion. I wasn't expecting to have the opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. I'm Helene, and you're Sylvia, right? We have some business to discuss, but first, I should offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Thanks, but I didn't really go in the right. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm just kind of using my normal voice for, for Sylvia, because, you know. Thanks, but I didn't really know him that well. All the same, it's a pity. Particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. Oh no, this is! This is fucking... <laughs> it's Reseteer. God. This music is giving me Bloodborne vibes. <laughs> you know, Eldritch Horror, Death, they're, they're really the same thing, right? Also, I need to crank up the audio for me. It's a, it's a bit low. Ah, there we go. I just have the audio very low on my end. Wait, shit. Go back. Go back. How do I go back? I guess that's fine. When debt. Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of one th million gold? <laughs> now. What? I take it you'd prefer to set up a payment plan. I like how the suitcase has teeth. <laughs> Is that like a suitcase mimic? That's a pretty cute touch. Oh, so the, the buttons are little will-o'-wisps! Oh. Welcome on. I uh, mismanaged it, to judge by appearances. I have his contract right here, if you'd like to look it over. That fine print is very fine. <laughs> oh no. Mind imprint the contract. I've oh no, it's literally. Oh, I've invoked a soul binding, which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations onto you. Make your payments on time, and this shop is yours. Default on the loan, however. And you forfeit the property, and we'll be legally obligated to work for us until such a time we deem your death. I'll get you started. Sell me this old potion. That's high quality. So I can be your first patron. Fail, attempt, and blunder. Oh my god. I think none of these 
does anything? It's a potion! Uh, you knew that. I like you'll think it. Wait, no. Minor old health potion. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty good, probably. <laughs> Panic, blank out, or despair. <laughs> These are all so good, dude. Uh, uh. Oh. I'm too stressed to function. She's just like me, for real. Well, I trust you'll get the hang of it. You have to the you have a full ten days before your first payment is due. I'll be seeing you, Sylvia. Good luck. Of course. Of course this will happen. I should have come here. What am I going to do? Oh shit! Huh? The bird is fucking dead! Chief, I don't want to run a store anymore. Well, even, even the capitalists are just owned by bigger, richer capitalists. Like, oh god. Okay, what kind of voice should an owl mascot have? I'm assuming this is gonna be the owl mascot. I'll see it in hell. <laughs> Boo. Boo that guy. Huh, let me think. I don't want to go too ham. I don't want to pull out the fucking toad for this. I want to go like, OW MY HIP! <laughs> she sounds like he smokes 20 a day. Emphasize the who sounds. Uh, I mean... Hoot hoot? I heard that. You you can talk. Well, well, of course I can talk. You must be. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my haunted house. This is Rafter, where the strange is commonplace, and the birds are chatty. And what are property like property laws like in Rafter? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. I live here, actually. If you, you <laughs> call it a living, eating scraps, living in the shadows. You live here in the shop. I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh. Uh, you. Did he never mention me? How strange. Perhaps he was, uh, so embarrassed to admit how, uh, integral I was to the shop. Yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of this whole operation. My name is... Owl. Owl. Really? I guess Uncle Oswald was a... First idea, best idea kind of guy. Anyway, Owl, it was nice meeting you and all, but I'm getting on the first boat out of here. What is... There is some weirdness with the mouths in these animations. It's like the inside of her mouth is white. And you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years, chained to a cubicle until you've worked off your debt. You'll beca become a wagey slavey in your wagey cagey. There's no way I can make enough by selling potions. Maybe not through the traditional route, but you've arrived at a fortuitous time. There are five competitions taking place over the next 50 days. A series of contests in which local merchants will go head-to-head -head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. Look, I have information on the first competition right here. 
You see, the initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. I, I can't read. Oh wait, this is English. It's just very artsy. Portion contest. Every ten days. I, I literally cannot read that though. Claire. Claire. I don't know. Total winning prize. A lot. We'll simply have to make a few specific potions in advance. Those are what you'll be judged on. Win the first competition, and you automatically qualify for the next one, for which the prizes will be even better. Chance to win. Oh. Thank you, Bat. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm... I'm bad at rating. And just look at the grand prize. Win all five competitions and you'll have the money. Oh, bleh, you'll have the money you need to get that debt collector off your back for good. Really think I have a shot at this? <laughs> Probably. I mean, it's your only hope. And I'm willing to help. Brains of the operation, remember. I know a thing or two. Well, alright then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You and me, Al, we're gonna win those competitions. Let's brew some potions. Let's make some money. Let's do some potion on this. Title drop. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> potions brew an extra two time slots overnight. Potion a day keeps the healer at bit away. You said he has highlighted the benefits of a daily health potions. Use in shoring up the body's natural defenses. Increased value of health potions. Let's go. Aw, oh, the little I love this art style. I hope this game doesn't have math. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Alright, brew. We gotta cook some meth, Jesse! Jesse! <laughs> Jesse, we need to cook, cook some meth! Oh. Your uncle left a, few, a handful of ingredients behind. I think I'll go lower for the owl, if I can. We'll have to make do with those for now. I assume you know your way around the cauldron. You went to school for this, after all. My face when people tell me I, sh I, sh I went to school for something and I remember precisely jack shit. I learned how to make pretty much any potion you can think of. Uh, there's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. What? Don't blame me, the regulations are intense. I have to prove I can handle the basic stuff before before they'll let me brew more advanced potions. See? I got the first stamp when I graduated. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> to get the next one, I have to put in a lot of hours at the cauldron. Well, you'll certainly get your hours. Starting now, in fact. Right. My first professional brew. I'd better go over my notes from college, just to be safe. Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalogue of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. A potion requires a minimum of two different magic-infused ingredients to be combined and heated in a cauldron. Game. Hello, Jazzo. How you doing? Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded letter signs and magan magamans. Magamans. Ah yes, the mighty magaman! Where would we be without it? Wherever magic has left its mark upon the world, there you will find the magamans. Megaman? Explosion? 
magical creatures, mystical plants. Even the rocks of this supernatural island contain this critical alchemical compound. I'm good, kinda EP. Hope you're well. I'm good. I'm also kinda kinda EP, but I'm I'm chilling. That's why I'm not doing that. I'm playing the biddy biddy games. Magical vitamin. Yeah, I guess that would be it, huh? Heating an ingredient releases the magamins contained within, thus infusing your potions with the very essence of magic. Mega Man! Gotta go fight Dr. Wowie. Oh yeah, they're even like B and C and shit. Megaman C. From Magic Oranges. Let's be real, Ambi. This is chemistry class, isn't it? I hope not. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna cook some potions, Jesse. Someone keep, keep a tally of how many times I do the fucking Breaking Bad joke, because it'll be a lot. It's Breaking Ambi. Don't break Ambi. Ambi is very, very soft and frail. Ambi breaks easy. Ratios are important too. If your balance of magamins is out of whack, the resulting potion will be less valuable. It sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it. One set of a time, gotta put the ingredients into the cauldron to make a potion! A <laughs> duh. Can't go wrong with health potions. And I have that recipe memorized. That owl fucks. I'm sorry. This, this is also going to be Amber tries to do the hee hee ha ha funny voices stream. So get ready for no one to have a consistent voice. HP pots are worth a lot more today. Yeah, let's make some money. A combination of red and green magamins. And fey berries and mandrake roots should do the trick. Okay, what's the ratio then? Okay, they have the same. Oh, you can just like slap more of the, more in there. That's everything we need. Let's set the lid on it and set it to brew. All right, nothing left to do here but cook. Oh, it's like on um, it's on a timer. Wooden cauldron? How the fuck do you make a cauldron out of wood? Wouldn't that just be set on fire? Mark it down. One red to one green for HP bots. Yes, yes. Avengers prefer ingredients from more dangerous areas of the island. Dude, I love alchemy in, in fantasy games. I I always made a shit ton of um, of alchemists and pathfinders and such. Can boil water in a plastic bottle over the open flame. Can you? Maybe the water keeps the wood safe. Maybe. Arrange the potions. Let's make some money. These old health potions won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them will be good practice for you. Put them on a shelf now. Once that is done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. Plop. Plop. Good. Now when customers come in, they'll see that you have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. I don't know what this voice is turning into, but... Kinda, kinda hot. Let's open the shop. Okay, 
Hopefully this goes better than yesterday. It will. It has to. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. I like the art style of this game. I, okay. I like the character designs. I love the animations. I like everything about this. But the art style for the characters so far, to be honest, is kind of like B+. <laughs> but I think that's just because I'm a massive weeb and this is not super weeby type of art style, you know? Haggling. The art of conversing with customers in order to get the highest value for each potion. You'll want to use every haggling strategy you know to raise each customer's interest. The higher the interest, the more money they'll pay. But keep a close watch on your customer's patience. Every customer has a finite supply, and if you exhaust it, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster! Of course, customers have negotiation strategies of their own. Try not to let them stress you out too much. Have you purchased Little Witch No Better then? That's definitely a weeb art style. I, I remember when the first beta for it came out and I was like, this looks cute. This looks like an interesting game. Uh, and then I forgot about it. As happens with like most of the games that, that catch my eye, sadly. Here comes one now. You've got this. I used to buy from your uncle. I see the talent runs in the family. Oh, they're like, oh, that's smart. The unnamed NPCs are like faced, facing away from you so they don't have to animate the faces. That's, that's smart. Sorry, game dev momento. This looks pretty great if the price is right. Okay, I have two two things. Set them up. Reel them in. Embrace yourself. Locks a set amount of stress. Shield is removed when brought down to zero. Removed at the start of the turn. Okay. This is very Slay the Spire, which is funny because I've been, I've been playing Slay the Spire as well. Open a trigger. This card has an ability which will activate only if it's the... If it's played first from your hand, you can activate an opener effect as the first card played each turn. Incre oh, so it's like a, it's a wombo combo. Now that I have the attention, I can reel them in. I want to make a deal with you. Well, nice. That's all I have for now. I've got to brace myself for that turn. <laughs> Okay, let's see what the customer has to say. Moderately interested, six patients complain. Customer is going to increase Sylvia's stress. Okay, so it's like enemy intense. I can slay the spire. Okay. I gotta say, this is a, ver a very interesting twist, th th this type of gameplay, where it's not combat. I guess I can finish the deal now. Let's close it out. Money on the table. Take it or leave it. Can't wait to try it. We made money! A friendly artisan. I ran into a hero who had the nicest things to say about this shop. I can feel the magic coming off of this one. Real them in. That's one of my finest potions. <gasps> potion seller? Uh, give me your finest potions. How much, uh... His patience is here. Yeah, has a good amount of patience. I can ring him. Ooh. Yeah. Think, Sylvia, think. Oh, you even, like... You even have, like, deck milling. That's pretty cool. You've made an excellent selection. This one's a winner. Oh, it's 
It's per... Wait, how does this work? Hmm... This card's your current hand. Oh, okay, so you like... Spend the cards on your hand. Okay, okay, I'm starting to get it. It's not like you have a hand and you spend it and then the turn ends. It's every card that you spend decreases the patience. And you just have to end the turn and take a hit if, uh, if you run out of cards. Okay, if he has four, I can reel him in. Maybe you're pretty good at this. He's very interested. Let's go. What do you say? Yeah, money. Next in line. Oh, no. I waved to you on the street yesterday, but I guess you didn't see me. I have my doubts, but I thought I'd at least ask about this one. Minimally interested. Oh, they can have... They can have shield as well. Set him up. Take damage, piece of shit. He's not the worst I've ever seen. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have spent that. Because he's not gonna stress me out, so... Alright, here we go. That's an overwhelming markup. That's a lot of... That's a lot of shield. Okay, I have close it out, so... Set them up! Real element. Impatience. I'm at what? I'm at one patience, so... Close the sale! Take it or leave it. Alright then. That's all of them for now. Okay, okay, well... This has potential, this can be pretty good. It's clear your hand skills are improving, but if I could offer a very small suggestion, in a negotiation sometimes- ah. Okay, this is a cool... This is a cool way to set this up. You're just like picking up tips from other people. That's nice. Low-key kind of wholesome. I look forward to seeing it in action. But that's enough of a break for now. That was a break? Come on now, back to work. I don't have more potions, do I? Hmm. Those health potions should be done brewing. Let's take a look. Reduce stress by hanging out with friends, heroes, and... Oh, they also, like... Build into it that way. That's cool. Bottle them up. Superb brew. Don't have cheap shit anymore. That's the first batch done. Well, why not make more for the night shift? Let's diversify your offerings, though. You never know what will be in demand. Mana potions require green and yellow magnums. I think I have the proper ingredients lying around. A sack of slime. Mm. Yum yum. No, wait, no, it has a face on it. Does that mean it's it's conscious? Are are we killing a slime for this? Are we killing two slimes for this? Perfect. Let's make those mad potions. Oh wait, what was the? Okay, formula is one to one. Mana potions take a little longer to brew than health potions, so let's pump up the heat to speed up the process. Fuel! An adder to your cauldron's fire will re reduce the amount of time it takes to brew a potion. 
You can feed up to three pieces of fuel. Ah, they, the, the fuel, the, look, look at the fire. He's numbing. You can feed up to three pieces of fuel to the fire to really boost that brewing speed. Be on the lookout for... Da, 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 da. Oh. Efficiency, one slot. The most basic kindling. I like, oh no, is it like, uh, gonna, <clears throat> is it gonna make it so the, the quality of the potion is lower or something? But maybe not. Let's get cooking. Now we can open the shop for the afternoon, sell the health potions. Let's go. Making money. Let's take a moment to think about your haggling strategy. Adding new haggling tips to your arsenal is the key to convincing customers. Here are your cards on this page. These are the haggling skills you had to begin with. Head over to my page to see the new haggling tip I taught you. Oh, you have limited slots, okay. Wait, no, this is just the ones that I have, never mind. <clears throat> Add new te techniques to your active deck. You'll have to make space for them. Mouse over any card in the deck and press the minus button to remove it. Okay. Okay, so there is a, a limit to the deck size. Uh, well, draw three cards for two or draw one card for one. I, Sylvia, you need to stop thinking. Oh, okay, now there are auto saves, thank goodness. Stress zero. Oh, to be someone sitting at stress zero. Oh, I forgore. I forgot to put potions on sale. Oh, these are worth more. I did a good job. Did I, I think, did, did I do a good job? I hope I did a good job. This place is shaping up, shaping up nicely. I can feel the magic coming off this one. Okay, she's just gonna lose extra patience. Set him up. Reel him in. Reel him in. Very interested. I have four. Do I close it out now? Three more. Okay, if I get like... What do I have on the deck? I have more set -em ups and reel -em ins so I'm gonna... Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna risk it. How do I get out of here? Return. Let's... And, oh! Okay, so it's two. Wait, is it two to end? Or is it two plus this one? Guess we'll find out. I have to get home before my turtles wreck the place. <gasps> okay, yeah, so it, it just includes the, the attack that they added in. Alright. Set them up. Close it out. Money, money, money. Money. <laughs> Chill craftsman. He, he looks very chill. Got a good feeling about this one. Minimally interested. Very patient. He's gonna debuff me. Ooh. Okay. But not damaging me yet, so. I want to love it. Is this. Hmm. Do I raise interest again? Or do I just hope for something better next turn? Don't have sound behavior. Hi, Guga! 
How you doing? I will try to read your lips. <laughs> Those are words. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just wait. Shield and reduce interest. Oh! Think, Sylvia, think! No! Oh! This one might end up poorly. That's not a fair prize. No, it's not! I have a close it out. Oh, but reel him in is two. Shit. And if I end the turn, it's just done, so... I guess I'll spend these two. Raise interest. I want to make a deal with you. Then, close it out. Moderately interested. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Thank you for your business. This is a lot more involved than Reseteer, and it's find the magic percentage that this NPC will accept type of deal. I'm digging it. It's pretty good. Nice job. Now don't forget those mana potions. There's still time, time to sell them before the day's over. Let's bottle them up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. The UI is also very cute. Gimme them post perfect brew. Hey yo. We can sell these for the last block of the day. Let's brew a new set of mana potions. This time we'll kick it up a notch. I got some ingredients stashed away for a rainy day that will push our potions to the next tier. Sack of hive slime. Okay. Manworm root. And some hay. Okay, okay. Make some real potions. 18! Good god. Okay. We are now up from minor and on to common. Wait, can you like... <laughs> okay. It's like, hmm, can I drop a potion into the cauldron? Is this like, um... Like clay, where you like grind up bits of clay that you then use to mix into the new clay? Four days though, okay, better potions take a while, huh? This batch will need to brew overnight so you can bottle them up in the morning. How long does night last? Hmm. Oh, potions brew an extra two, two slots overnight. Okay. I keep forgetting to put things on the shelf. Ember. Way. Friends to hear I had the nicest things to say about this shop. I, I like this game. It uh it really hits the uh the millennial lifestyle goal of uh being self-employed. <laughs> being self-employed and owning your own place. It's it's very good. Or at least I'm I'm assuming. I don't know about you guys. Would you like to own a, a little store like this? I think I would. Slay the spy with good potions and customers, yeah. Tension. Devalue the potion. Man, I have nothing. Thanks, Sylvia! Reel them in! It's kind of interesting.
I didn't draw very many cards that time, huh? Let's see if you some care into it. Yeah, that didn't stress me out, I think. Oh, six patients. Shut him up. Got him hooked. Got him hooked. Ooh, real woman. Oh, three. Okay, real woman. Very interested. And close it out. Highly interested. Money. Good to see you. I mean it. This looks great if the price is right. Okay. Interest increase amount. Oh, okay. The different people have different ratios. Set them up. Real woman. And you have a lot of patience, so I'm... Waiting. I would if I can't, but I can't, so I won't. I can see you have reservations. Come on now. Increase stress twice. Okay. I'm up. Shield myself. Ooh, what if I don't get close it out next turn? I have two closes it outs. And I have one more here. And I'm gonna have like two actions. So actually, no. I should just close it out now. Because I won't be able to do anything except close it out. Sort of feeling it? Yeah! Take it. Just cut the losses. Yup, 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 yup. Oh! Think all oh, the the brooms they sweep by themselves. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's them. My beloved. Oh god, what voice do I even do for Quinn? Hey, what's the big deal? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can, I live here. Are you invoking squatters' rights? Because I've got dibs. I've been kicking back in this trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clean up that will weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. Someone's happy to see her. They are they are excellent, they are vibes, and I love them. I think there's been some mistake. My name is Sylvia. I've just inherited this place. Oh. Just when you know a condemned building when you see it. But maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. Obviously, you got your some kind of potions, witch. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. They are so cute! Oh my god! You know, the, to the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions. You should do some business my way. She's a drug dealer. Yes, and... <laughs> White man! We making pot? We're cooking mess, Jesse! How you doing, White man? We are making the medical, magical marijuana. You know, the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions. You should kick some business my way. Please, marry me. I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. Kiss. Mwah, chef's kiss. 
I call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Why so thirsty? Because because look at them. They're they're vibes as fuck. Hydrate. Thank thank you. Thank you. <laughs> The drawings make him look even cuter! <sighs> Just came back from the shop and I see a fucking male. I think they're non binary. But yes. High, high quality. Right? Or gets it. Plant the seed for three turns. One action. Eight interest for three turns. That's pretty good. Look at him. You know, I think I will use that. Where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. Look forward to doing business. Once I'm up and running, I'll need ingredients pretty regularly. I guess I'll see you around then. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. Why would you not fuck when- Right? Making money. Making big money. Can I just go and kiss him right away? I wanna go kiss him. Just gotta take this one day at a time. I wanna kiss her too! Hello? Just the other day. And now, potions! Oh uh, yeah, pardon the mess. I'm working to get the place up and running again. Well, I'm impressed. You must know what you're doing. That's... really kind of you. The truth is, I'm new to town and to running a shop. I'm sort of figuring it out as I go. Really? I'm new here too! My name's Mint. I just got to town a few days ago. I'm Sylvia, resident potions witch. And by resident, I mean I, I literally live here. It's seriously so good to meet you, Sylvia. Now I have to ask. Does Foster the Formidable ever shop here? Or Dox the Defenestrator? One of those sounds significantly worse than the other. That would be a huge honor, whoever the fuck that is. I'm not sure I'd recognize them. You didn't have posters of them in your bedroom when you were little? I guess that was just me. I get it, it's not thirsty, you can become a succubus. <laughs> it's... It's spooky month, I'm, I can become a succubus if I want. I might be a bit of a fangirl, oh my god. To be honest, I've been geeking out pretty much non-stop since I got here. Or incubus. I prefer succubus. Incubus are the... rapey time. Succub succubi are the seducey type. I mean, this island has a lot of historic significance for the Heroes Guild. This is where they defeated Maven, the Witch Queen of Rafta. Of course, the fallout from that battle left the island uninhabitable for a while. But the whole place is rebuilding now. That includes the local chapter of the guild. It put out a call for new recruits. You got the muscles to be a hero. Please crush my head between them. Runos might have something to say about that. Oh no. Ever thought about joining? <gasps> Thanks, I do work out. Oh my god. She's also cute. As a matter of fact, joining up is exactly what I came to Rafter. I answered the call. Hey, that's great. Welcome to the new gig. 
thanks, but I'm only a provisional member for now. They got me running odd jobs for the XP. Fucking internships. That's slang for experience. Any day now, I'll be ready for proper adventures outside of town. After all, there's a whole island out there teeming with mystery and danger and potion ingredients, of course. Swing by the guild hall if you're ever, ever looking for loot. I could help you out for a small fee. Sounds promising. Thanks for the tip. No sweat, Sylvia. I know we just met, but I'm already rooting for you. Oh. Aw, oh, that's going to work in your favor, I bet. Evoke sympathy in your customers and they'll be more likely to cut you some slack. New tips? Ayo, new tips? Gain shield. Two shield apply sympathy for one turn. Ooh! De a defense and a buff. Have feeling you're gonna do great. If you'll excuse me, I got some fetch quests to tackle. You wouldn't believe how often people in this town misplace family heirlooms. Yeah, do, do it all the time. On the, this, this old Intel CPU? I don't didn't even know where I misplaced it for weeks. Celebrity Crush. Following rumors that celebrity bard Zidriel has relocated to Rafter. Give me ten bare asses, I really need them. I'll, I'll, I'd rather buy them. Gotta work a debuff deck with a set em up combo. Ooh, you're right. Are we gonna do some deck building? But no, I guess I don't have enough tips to, to like build the strategy, but... Increase in customers, decreased value for health potions. Potion a day is maybe a bit excessive. Follow-up study suggests that a daily health potion might be F far too much of a good thing. All right, so we're brewing. Uh, we're brewing something else today. Might as well check out Quinn's shop, right? Or else there's always the Heroes Guild. When everyone is hot, what what can we do? Plant the seed in sympathy. Seems we work well with setup and reel them in. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we can. Well, we can do it. Close, them, close it out seems pretty good. Oh, it, it even adds like a flat increase at the end. That's pretty good. Hmm. Okay, first of all, this just seems flat out better than Brace Yourself, so I'm just gonna replace it. Put in the Sympathy. Shield and Sympathy, so. Plant the seed for three turns. He's so cute. They're both, they're both so cute. Oh my God. I'm gay. Anyway. Uh, hmm. What should I? Maybe I'll take out one of the think Sylvia thinks. Or maybe I'll take them both out. Because, like, two time for three cards seems good, but one for one. Hmm. Actually, I'll remove one, close it out. Let's go with that. Sick. It's time to get some new whatever the fuck meth is made. Go to Quinn, of course. Hell, if I can hang out with both of them, that would be lovely. <gasps> I, we're on Broomza! We're on Broomza! <laughs> Sir, are you aware that you have a, a little grape thing of, uh, of eyeballs? I want to hang out. Spend some time together to strengthen the rela relationship and lower some stress. I don't know.
Mm, let's hang out first and then shop. Blind taste test. Boosts relationship slightly and relieves a bit of stress. Can't succeed in this business if you can tell a slimy fish from a slimy slime. Quinn pulls out a blindfold and a sack of ingredients. Sylvia is hesitant. But Quinn has a point. Sylvia uses this stuff in her craft. She should know her materials inside and out. She dons a blindfold and opens wide, bracing for whatever Quinn has in store. Some of the ingredients taste alright. Others don't. That was fun. I'm not sure your palate is any sharper than before. But your projectile vomit is something to envy. Is that how you get rid of stress? Do you just projectile vomit it away? Rank up. Guess I got a minute. Can I smooch, smooch you yet? I want... He looks so tired. I feel that. His little choker. His little color. Uh, this is sort of an unusual location for a business, isn't it? It has its perks. I do like the view. See the whole town? Yeah, so I can spot trouble coming a mile away. Fuck the police, says Quinn. Listen, in business you gotta use the advantages you got, whether that's the high ground or a low blow. Got the upper hand? That's when you press the attack. Raise interest by five and draw! Ooh! See that if you're making that pot, that's true. Did I ever tell you guys about my my alchemist that I played in a Pathfinder living campaign? Her name was Rubedo, but everyone called her Ru. Have a good meal, Omi. Uh, she was a she was an alchemist. She she was lawful evil, and she had a big bag of holding where she stored her clones in, in a little miniature laboratory. So whenever she died, she'd crawl out of her own backpack, naked and covered in goo, and ready to keep on fighting. It was fun playing a very Machiavellian evil character. It was like, oh no, we accidentally killed some civilians and trying to get rid of these uh, evil dudes or whatever. What's what's her first uh, reaction? You know, I could just like fill a bathtub with acid and get rid of the corpses so no one can track them back to us. You know, normal hero shit. Just now, I could use an advantage in the marketplace. You might fit the bill. Come on, follow me. Okay. Mm. Alright, here's the deal. There are a total of four chocolatiers in this town. Each one of them gives out one free sample per customer per day. What are you waiting for? Go get them. Bring them here. Spurred on by the urgency in Quinn's voice, Sylvia plunges into the throng. The chocolatiers aren't hard to find. In a matter of minutes, she has four small chocolate treats. Oh, I want a small chocolate treat. Actually, I should be... I should grab a snack. In a bit. Yoink! Hey, wait a minute! What gives? Can't be that lazy. First of all, I wouldn't underestimate my laziness if I were you. But more to the point, I got a lifetime ban from those stalls. All four of them. <laughs> oh, they're for ah, that expression. Perfect. Well, in that case, I'm glad I could help you out, I guess. 
Hey, don't be sore. I'll share if you want. But they use some unusual ingredients in these things. You never know what's inside until you take a bite. Unusual ingredients? As in monster parts? Among other things. Ah! Oh! Sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna be squealing over every expression Quinn makes. Tell me more. Why use such strange ingredients? That's what we have access to. You got to understand, this island was off limits for years. And all that time, the land was chewing in sweet, sweet magical juices. So pretty much anything you find here is going to have some magic in it. I guess we have that dead witch to thank for that, Maven. She performed some out, pretty out-of-there experiments before the Heroes Guild took her out. Almost sounds like you admire her, wasn't she evil? Better evil than boring. Maybe she could have taught me some things. True, no. Kinda true. Maybe I could have taught her some things. Anyway. The land Maven left behind is a weird place, full of weird stuff. And I like weird. Weird is rare. Weird is valuable. And the hard part is getting our hands on the best stuff. We need local heroes to, you know, get good. They rely on potions when they're out there foraging. So if you level up your crafts, they get better. And you and I both benefit. We'll end this together, then. That's our sweet. Yeah, sure. Super sweet. Oh, he's Tsundere! As long as you don't turn, in, turn out to be dead weight. Now, I gotta get back. Boxer gets antsy if I leave him for too long. And I get the impression you got your work cut out for you. Yeah. Yeah, oh wait, this wasn't, that was like two, two actions. I need ingredients. What do you have? I'll take, I'll take your whole stock. It's like 40, 60, 170. Gimme, 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 gimme. Take your entire stock. I need to make some good ass potions. There we go. There we go. Let's go visit. Actually, is there anything else on the map? Not yet. Alright, let's go talk to the, the other waifu. Everyone is waifu. Wait, hold on. Before I do that, I'm gonna go grab a snack, actually. I will be right back. One second.
Ay, hola. Watch out, watch out. I have a little cereal bar. Keep me fed and energized. Mwah. Hello, L. How you doing, sweetheart? And up this uh, player nine um, game task draw image. We müssen den hier noch da. Like the town 